Hey Lewis with Belted RV Life. Today we're actually starting a series of a multi-series section on our channel where we're going to talk about what it takes to get started in your RV rental business and how to sustain it, how to grow it, and certain things like that. So if you've been asking, we heard you, and we're going to start putting out some content that relates to that. So subscribe to the channel if that's you. If you do have a small RV rental business, you're definitely going to want to subscribe to the channel. I want to check out some of our other videos as we do have tons of RV rental uh, business content. All right, so let's get into it. One of the first things you're going to want to do is talk to your spouse. Talk to your husband, your wife, whatever that looks like. If you're the entrepreneur in the family, you want to make sure that everybody's on the same page if you want to start an RV rental business. There is a time commitment when it comes to this. Uh, you got to make deliveries or certain things you got to do. You got to get rigs ready. They got to get cleaned out, certain things like that. There's a lot of dumping you got to do. You know, you, you've got to basically make sure that this is going to fit into your guys' schedule when it comes to your RV rental business. So that's the first thing you want to do. Okay, now once you've established those things, the very first thing you want to do in relation to actually getting your business started is to get a proper LLC drawn up. You can talk to a lawyer, which in our case is what we did. I'll be honest with you guys, in the beginning, I got an LLC, but that was it. I didn't realize that as we had multiple units and we were starting to bring on consignments and I was having people drive for me, there's a lot of liability that you want to protect your guys from. So had a good friend of mine who was a long time CPA, definitely helped us in kind of navigating that and making sure that we're doing things the right way and protecting ourselves um, from any sort of major liability. So get a proper LLC drawn up. A couple ways you can go about it. You can actually talk to a lawyer or there's certain websites that can help you get that done. We just wanted to take the stress out of it. I just handed it off to a lawyer, told them what we wanted or told her what we wanted and she was able to draw it up for us. I mean, it took like two days, that was it. It did cost a little bit extra money, it cost us about $1,200. But you know what, you guys might be able to find somebody uh, be able to do that cheaper for you. Okay, so after you get your LLC, you get your business license, next thing you wanna do is obviously go in and open up a checking account, right? You gotta have a, a proper business checking account that you have all of your income going in so that you can track your expenses, you know? For us, we did get an accountant. I did hire an accountant because I'm not a good, I'm not organized in that area. So I wanted to make sure that there was people that knew what they were doing that could take care of us just in case we got ourselves into anybody in any sort of um, financial trouble, right? So I wanted to make sure that I did this the right way. We got a CPA. He's basically handling most. Of, we have. I've got a bookkeeper that helps us in keeping everything on the on the month to month on track, and then I've got a CPA who does my overall taxes throughout the year. But we couldn't do that and keep track of all of our expenses unless we had a proper business checking account opened up. So that would be the next thing you guys want to do. And honestly, guys, this business is a great tax write-off. I mean, you can write off your lease payments, your car payments, your insurance payments. You can write off, you know, propane, gas, or diesel, right? You got to get your mileage written off. Like, there's so many expenses that you're able to write off. But you got to do this the proper way and make sure that's done legally. All right, so next thing I want to do here is just kind of walk you guys through. Um, here's our website. This is just my opinion, but one of the first things that you want to do is getting a website. A website for me separates us as far as the scalability and how big we wanted to go with this it separates us from any of what the platforms are doing the platforms are great rv share and outdoorsy are the two that we we use we know that there's actually others like rv easy good sam there's other other uh platforms that are out there that you can use to get your your things listed rv and go i think is another one of them but for us we wanted to keep it on the two major ones which is uh outdoorsy and rv share and we wanted to make sure that when we had our website if people wanted to go through our website and we wanted to book directly with them, we wanted to make the most amount of money, the best bang for our buck. So creating a website for us was was probably the thing we wanted to do. We also wanted to kind of do it a just kind of a step above what other people were doing by doing walkthroughs of our units and videos so that, well, one, we knew that YouTube YouTube was going to be a big part of our life. We wanted, to be, wanted it to be a big part of our life. We wanted to make sure that, you know, we could monetize a YouTube channel and there's going to be multiple things that we could do and we, we can reach a wider base of not just renters but also people that are just like this that are looking for content on how to start an rv rental business we didn't know it all in the beginning we just went through it all made a lot of mistakes documented it and we knew that at some point someone's going to want to know what the information is right so for us you know utilizing youtube and making sure that we've got uh, videos that, that can help our renters out and then also like we didn't want to continue to explain this stuff we didn't want to continue to 
to you know answer those questions about what's all in the unit well here you go all of our campers come stock ready and fully stocked for camping here's a video on everything that we provide right people can go to our website and check that out gosh you know back back you know when we first started this you guys all know what was going on over the last few years well we wanted to make sure that you know things were clean so my wife did an incredible video and a time lapse video on everything and how we clean our units right to cover that aspect of it you know and then as we started getting rentals in we started getting reviews and reviews are a big deal because when people actually go to your website and they want to see like are you know are we flexible are we certain this do we like festivals you know certain things like that people just absolutely love reading our reviews so we put some reviews on our website and then i also clipped out some of i, I guess the the biggest connections that i've had with some of these people i truly enjoy people and working with people so there's some connections that i like making with these people and they wrote about it and I clipped some of those and put them on our website. And then we have all of our social media tab. And again, as an entrepreneur, right? And you're starting an RV rental business, you're gonna wanna totally maximize any potential of earning income. And for us, you know, Amazon affiliates and certain things like that would really help and add to your pocket. Okay, first one here, RV share. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm already logged in here, but if I wanted to list an RV, you just click on here. And there's a, there's a number of questions on, on what kind of units that you've got, class A, class C, fifth wheels, class Bs. You fill out all this information. Uh, you put your contact information in there, and then before you know it, you're good to go, right? Same thing with Outdoorsy. Uh, if you want to act, actually add a unit and list a unit there, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to walk through this entirely, but it's pretty easy to get your, get your units set up here. So you want to do RV share, Outdoorsy. Those are the two major ones, and make sure that you're... you're updating each calendar as you get bookings because a lot of times you'll get bookings on one and they don't sync to each other so you got to make sure that you're updating the next one now if you have five units or more you're going to want to use wheelbase wheelbase takes any fees out of it rv share when you first get started has 25 percent commission rate right meaning 25 percent right out of your profits is going to go to rv share right they also have some service fees and certain things like that Honestly, today, I don't like using RV Share that much because it takes a lot of my profits out of my pocket. I like using our own website mainly. And then when it comes to Outdoorsy, Outdoorsy is actually pretty cool. They only take 20% out. But honestly, they take 20% out of, out, of, out of just kind of right off the top. There's no extra fees or anything that's hidden like that. So it gives me a better idea and I can actually, I can actually understand where those fees are coming from. And for me, that's everything, right? So when it comes to wheelbase, you have to have five units or more. And for us, we actually got grandfathered in because when we first got started, we got started with one, but we quickly grew to three. We have we got a Class C motorhome, and then we've got another uh, another travel trailer, the Grand Design bunkhouse that we bought. So we had three units, and we and back then, Wheelbase was allowing people to have three units or more, but they've since changed that to five units or more. But you want to get there as quick as possible if you want to grow and scale a business. And what we've learned with Wheelbase, it is actually really easy. The same way uh, to, to add a vehicle. So if you wanted to add a new vehicle, you click on this here and you just basically fill out all the same information that you fill in RV, share, um, and Outdoorsy. The cool thing with Wheelbase, it is a part of the Outdoorsy platform. So what that means is that when you fill all the information out here and you get it all updated, it automatically syncs with Outdoorsy's website so that everything's already in there right so you don't need to actually add it twice so if you have it on wheelbase that means you've got on wheelbase and outdoorsy and you're good to go okay there you go so this is part one of a multi-series section like i said we're going to have multiple multiple videos on one process of what it takes to actually get your business started and prolong it and build it and grow it and certain things like that so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel as it supports us and as always happy camping